Let's talk about venous ulcers. If you've ever taken care of someone with leg wounds, or if you've had them yourself, you know exactly how frustrating they can be. They shrink, they look like they're almost closed, and then boom, they open up again. Which is why in this video, I am breaking down why venous ulcers keep coming back, what's really going on underneath the skin, and the steps you can take to finally break that cycle. For those who don't know me, my name is Dr. Cassandra Voltaire, a family medicine physician trained in wound care. I spent a lot of time in outpatient wound clinics, skilled nursing facilities, working with patients who are just like the ones I'm talking about today. So let's get right into it. Early in my career, venous ulcers frustrated me too. I'd pick the dressings carefully, I'd keep the wounds clean, and still the same patients would show up with wounds that wouldn't close or that reopened weeks later. It wasn't until I really started to pay attention to circulation, to swelling, to the environment around the wound that things started to change. So if you've ever felt like you're chasing your tail with venous ulcers, you're in the right place. All right, let's start from the beginning. Venous ulcers usually happen on the lower leg, often around the ankles. You'll see swelling, sometimes this brown or rust-colored staining of the skin called hemosiderin, sometimes thickening or itching before a wound even forms. That's all venous disease showing itself. This is because the veins in the legs aren't working the way they're supposed to. Normally, veins carry blood back to the heart. They have valves that keep the blood moving in the right direction. But when those valves are weak or damaged, blood starts pooling in the legs. Think of it like a sink where the drain doesn't work properly. The water just sits there. That pooling creates pressure. And over time, that pressure pushes fluid out into the tissue, stretches the skin, and makes it fragile. Then it doesn't take much, a scratch, a bump, even just pressure from a sock. And suddenly, there's an ulcer. Now here's where the cycle comes in. The ulcer starts healing. The wound edges close. But if that venous pressure is still there, nothing has really changed. It's like patching a leaky roof without fixing the hole. You might keep the rain out for a little while, but the next storm, you're in trouble again. And that's why venous ulcers keep coming back. I remember a patient, Miss J. She was in her late 70s, lived with her daughter, and had a shallow wound near her ankle. It would almost close and then open again. She had been to multiple clinics, tried multiple dressings. When she came to me, her biggest frustration was, why does this keep happening? When I examined her, her wound wasn't the only issue. Her lower leg was swollen. Her skin was discolored, almost like it had been stained with coffee, and she wasn't wearing any compression. No one had explained to her that compression wasn't optional. It was the foundation of her healing. After checking that her vascular status was okay, we started her on a multi-layer compression wrap. Within two weeks, the swelling went down. The wound looked cleaner. Within two months, it was closed. And with ongoing compression stockings for maintenance, she's kept it closed. That case sticks with me because it highlights the heart of venous ulcers. They're not really skin problems, they're pressure problems. Now here's something I want you to notice. If you're a beginner, don't worry about memorizing all the products and dressings. Just remember this. If you see a wound on the lower leg, especially near the ankle, always ask yourself, what's the swelling like? What's the circulation like? That question alone will get you 90% of the way there. If you're more advanced, maybe you're already thinking about ABIs, compression, pressures, or even lymphedema overlap. That's great, but don't forget the basics. Even advanced providers sometimes overlook the simple truth. Compression isn't just treatment, it's prevention. And if you're a caregiver, maybe you're caring for your mom or dad, you don't need to know all the numbers. What matters is knowing that swelling is the enemy, helping them elevate their legs, encouraging them to wear their stockings, reminding them to move. That's your superpower. Now let's talk about recurrence. Why do these wounds come back so easily? It's because the underlying problem never goes away. Once someone has venous disease, the valves don't magically repair themselves. The pressure in the veins will always be higher than normal. That means lifelong prevention is needed. That prevention looks like compression stockings, 
regular exercise, avoiding long periods of standing or sitting, and keeping the skin healthy. But here's the mistake I used to make. I thought once the wound was closed, my job was done. I'd celebrate with the patient, we'd high five, and we'd move on. But then months later, they'd be back with the same wound. Now I know that closure is not the finish line. It's the starting line for maintenance. That's where education matters most. Helping patients understand that stockings aren't just for right now, they're for life. That elevating their legs isn't a temporary fix, it's a habit. Let me give you another analogy. Think of it like high blood pressure. You don't just treat it until the numbers look good and then stop the medications. You manage it day in and day out because the condition doesn't disappear. Venous ulcers are the same way. So let's pull this all together. If you've been frustrated by venous ulcers that keep coming back, the answer isn't in chasing the latest dressing. It's in understanding the pressure underneath. Support the veins, reduce the swelling, protect the skin, and suddenly healing makes sense. And if you're a provider, I want to challenge you. Next time you see a leg wound, don't just ask, what's the best dressing? Ask, what's the pressure behind this? And how can we relieve it? If you're a caregiver, remember, your support makes a difference. The daily encouragement, the little reminders, that's what keeps these wounds from coming back. And if you're someone living with venous ulcers yourself, know this, it's not your fault. This isn't about being lazy or not trying hard enough. This is about physiology. And with the right approach, you can finally break the cycle. The hardest wounds to treat are the ones that ask you to juggle competing truths. You can't push too hard in one direction without causing harm in another. And that takes patience, humility, and sometimes the courage to say, we need a team. And now that you know more about how venous ulcers work and why they keep coming back, if you knew how to clean these wounds the right way, it allows them to heal much faster. And there's actually something that I've started doing recently that's helped me speed up the time it takes for wounds to heal significantly. So watch this video next, where I show you what it is, how it works, and how you can use it to treat your patients faster. Stay informed and heal well.